invite uh, the th uh, colleagues uh, that they will present uh, some success stories. So I invite uh, Mrs. Sara Casini, uh, Mr. Roberto Fenzi, and uh, Mr. Miquel Ridao to come to the table here. Please. So this morning, uh, we said that something this is uh, really true. Actually, I got my PhD in uh, smart textiles 20 years ago. In fact, 20 years later, there is no so many things about, I mean, big turnover in the European industry. Actually, this is one of the reasons that the European community sponsored this project in order to see to what we can do in order to start make big business in these smart textiles. Of course, we have to find the reason. Uh, the reason is the competitiveness. Uh, several times this morning, uh, our colleagues mentioned about competitiveness. So, mention that we try to um, try to change some other materials that they have no rigidity, that they have some other properties, and uh, textiles. Uh, we have to see and to prove the superiority of uh, to using uh, flexible materials as textiles as smart as smart materials. So, in fact, now it's a very important part of, uh, of our uh, small conference to see the experience from our colleagues that they have industrialized and they have produced products in the industry. So, I have also personally to uh, thank them that they are uh, here with us to share their experience. And uh, first, I invite uh, Mrs. Sara Gassini, please, uh, to present um, the success story. So, Sara is boarding member and research and development manager at Manifactura di Man Miami or Spa. So after taking a university degree in political science, she worked uh, for Prato Industrial Union, Industry Trade Association, in the internationalization division. In particular, she focused on custom services, import, export practices, and call for proposal. Now, uh, Manifactura de Mayanio, uh, she is specialized in research and development, management control, in communication, in marketing, in certification and quality management systems. She is also boarding member of Next Technology Technotexil and Prato Invest. So, Sarah, thank you very much for coming. Please. Uh, hello to everybody. Thank you for the invitation. I'm very glad to be here uh, today. So, uh, our company, uh, Manifattura Maiano, is a business, uh, it's a family business, born in 1960 and is based in Florence uh, province, but inside the Prato textile cluster. Uh, we produce uh, no wovens. In other words, uh, uh, we process in the textile fibers to create felts, wadding, uh, fillings, and technical textiles for very different uh, application on the market. Our main uh, markets are uh, furnishing, uh, footwear, industrial, and uh, nurseries and gardening. To make these products, we use uh, mm, uh, many different kinds of fibers, both natural and synthetic, recycled or virgin ones. 
So uh, we, we try to constantly uh, develop, uh, develop new products and we try to improve uh, uh, the existing ones. And so due to this um, continuous uh, research of new application, in 2005, a new line of thermal and acoustic insulation products has been created. Uh, we think that mm, textile fibers, as somebody said this morning, are a sustainable and reliable alternative to many insulation products for building that several times are made of not renewable raw materials and uh, have uh, an high environmental impact. Uh, we are instead committed to develop uh, a sustainable insulation solution uh, with, uh, with textile fibers. So, uh, actually, we are present on building markets uh, with four different insulation uh, products made out of natural or recycled uh, fibers. Uh, the most, uh, most selling product is a uh, thin therm, that is uh, a polyester panel made with uh, re uh, recycled fiber from plastic bottles. Uh, then we have, uh, uh, okay. This one is recycled term. Recycled term is an insulation product made with uh, textile wastes that come from uh, industries of Prato district. So it's a product of a circular economy uh, that may, is made from 100% of recycled fiber at and the end of uh, their, its uh, life cycle can be uh, recycled. Then we have a, a natural term that is a, a natural line of insulation products made with a, a hemp or sheep wool fibers. So uh, contemporary to, to the selling of these products, uh, we carry out projects on research and development on polyester boards uh, specifically for acoustic correction of the environment. Um, Yes, mm, the company for, for this cooperates uh, with universities and research institutes on projects to develop innovative products on this issue. Uh, so in uh, 2015, we launched, uh, we launched the Acuspet project. And the aim of this project uh, was to design and develop uh, a new polyester fiber panel for acoustic correction of indoor environments. Uh, so the research, finally, it's, has demonstrated that, that uh, this item can improve acoustic, acoustic quality of interiors of, uh, of um, restaurants, school, theaters, uh, um, public, uh, public buildings, and so on. Uh, moreover, uh, uh, this is possible even with low frequencies of sound that are very critical, uh, such as the background noise, for example. And this is uh, uh, possible by adopting a specific criteria for, uh, for panel insulation installation. Uh, so, uh, thanks to the know-how acquired uh, with this uh, project, with Acuspect project, we were able to present to the market a a new, a new article, uh, and the name is uh, Synterm Sound Control. And this is um, an evolution of our standard polyester panel that was uh, suitable uh, just for installation in cavity walls. Uh, differently, this uh, Synterm Sound Control can be installed externally at sites as a solution to control the reverberated noise uh, the panel, this product uh, has excellent uh, acoustical dampening properties thanks to the fiber structure and orientation uh, that dissipates uh, sound waves for a quieter environment. And uh, the main technical characteristics of this, uh, of this product are that first of all it contains 85% of recycled fibers then mm, the product has a very good uh, fire, fire resistance and is certified according to the European standard A13501. Uh, Other characteristic is that uh, 
is, is it's uh, extremely extremely easy to apply, and this thanks uh, to its particular lightness. Besides, it's safe for installer because it's non-toxic, non-toxic and non-allergenic, and it is guaranteed by Ecotex certification. That is a very high level of certification uh, for building settle. So uh, last but not the least, uh, the product has uh, an affordable price in comparison with other uh, competitor products. Uh, so uh, the ease of installation and the technical performance of um, polyester panel has contributed in recent years to increase the use of this, um, of this kind of products for acoustic correction of interior environments. Uh, so now I will show you some example of installation of, uh, of the item. Uh, this is uh, a school cafeteria with sound control applied, uh, fixed to the ceiling and the walls. And this other is uh, an acoustic correction of a sports arena with sound control, is the black one panels, uh, are installed with a baffle configuration. In other words, uh, it's hanging from the ceiling. And here you, you see uh, panel installation in a restaurant and uh, on the right in a, in a classroom. So, uh, but mm, this is not all. We doesn't, uh, our research doesn't stop it here because in 2017, uh, we started a, a new project on this issue. Uh, we started Naneco project. Uh, it's born from the experience achieved with the previous Acuspet project. Uh, the research aim is now uh, the improvement of acoustic quality of schools, especially in schools where are, there are some children with uh, hearing problems. Uh, and for them, uh, the intelligibility of the speech is very important. Uh, so, uh, the, main, uh, the main acoustic problem, the, the several, several schools uh, has this kind of problem. With the University of, Pl of Florence, uh, we tested uh, many classrooms and the majority of them, uh, there was under the low requirements for acoustic quality. Uh, our partners in this project are the Engineering Department of, um, of Florence University and Next Technology uh, Research Institutes. So, uh, in the acoustic performance of the, of the panel, uh, we think to, uh, to empower this, um, the acoustic uh, quality of the panel even with uh, nanofibers uh, layers. Uh, the main points of this project so, are uh, to, to present to the market a new article uh, that will combine uh, superior noise absorption with uh, even an aesthetic finish, finishing. The new product could be uh, uh, dyed, could be printed uh, or, um, or could have a, a frame. Other, other thing is the development of a, an easy ins installation kit for school. Uh, even uh, teachers and pupils uh, can, be, um, can use this article and uh, for a, a do-it-yourself installation. Then uh, we, we carry out an investigation of acoustic performance of panel empowered with, uh, with nanofiber layers. Uh, we think that nanofibers, uh, thanks to their specific surface, tortuosity and porosity, will allow the reduction of mm, noise like background noise that are very present uh, in all classrooms uh, mm, and schools. So, uh, actually, uh, we are working on uh, the uh, installation kits uh, that will be composed uh, of polyester panel and the suspension system. And moreover, uh, we are working, uh, working out with the Florence University uh, to an abacus uh, for a predictive calculation of panel quantity needed uh, in a classroom. 
In this way, um, the, the cost of, um, of the engineer that make calculation for, uh, for the project, for the project uh, can, can be avoided. And so uh, it will be a more affordable action. Okay, I'm finished. Mm. I'm very... <laughs> Thank, your you. Time. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you, Sarah.